Hello, welcome to Humanities 10. Uh, I'm Grant Richards, your instructor, and uh, I just met with the students who are taking the face-to-face -face element of the class. This is a dual um, modality class, meaning that some of you will be taking the class entirely face-to-face. -face. They'll be in the classroom with me watching and talking about the movies. And some of you will be doing the class entirely online um, and watching the movies on your own and then um, taking part in the discussion board. Um, you'll have to uh, re reply to my prompts and um, then give me your um, questions or, or comments about the films and then read your classmates comments and react to them. Um, and so um, you can do one or the other, or you can do a combination of the two. If you can't find a movie, if you're doing the class online and you can't find a movie, come join us. Um, when you do join us, the discussion is part of you, you being there in the classroom. You get credit for that and not have to do any of the writing because you're, you're actually participating in the discussion. So um, you're all are welcome. Uh, I love the more the merrier. So uh, please do uh, join us when you can. Um, the face to face classroom is uh, social science 214. It's a nice classroom with slope seating, a big screen, good sound. Um, so hopefully we'll see some of you uh, there uh, next week to watch uh, Psycho with us. So um, that's dual modality. Um, the um, the syllabus, let's talk about grading. I know a lot of you are concerned about grades. That makes sense. Um, the class is based entirely on points. So you need 700 points to pass the class. Um, and if you want to get an A, you need 920. So it's all very simple. Um, please don't look at the percentages because a lot of students um, reach out to me and say, oh my gosh, I, you know, I thought I was getting a better grade or whatever. Um, the percentages are wrong. Not always, but quite often they're, they're incorrect. Um, so don't look at that when you, when trying to figure out your grade, look at the total points. Um, 700 points or more will give you a C or 700 to 780. Um, so I'll give a total breakdown, but just be aware that it's all about the points and, and not the percentages. Um, some other things I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, I started in class today talking about the film project. Um, I'm officially um, uh, giving this assignment, first day of class, and you have the entire semester to do it. it um, your film project is due on May 24th, uh, the last day of class at, at midnight. Um, and in this class project, you need to make a short film. Um, when I say short, two to three minutes, although it certainly can be uh, shorter or longer, um, but that's a kind of a guideline. Um, and the subjects can be anything. On the week one, um, there are several student examples. And also I've shown the, um, I think two showcases. Um, every spring semester, we have the showcase and it's the best student films of the year. And it's a big ceremony. Um, we screen the films and then have awards called the Gavvies. Um, we have a lot of, we have a film and uh, television major here at Gavilan and so those film students take it very, very seriously. Um, it's on Saturday, May 4th this year. Um, and if you want, you can enter your um, project or submit your project early by April 15th. And um, you th are there uh, under consideration for one of the films that play at the showcase. But um, that is the, the, the film projects were 300 points, 30% of your grade. So, um, it's a big deal, something you should start thinking about. You can do it by yourself, um, or you can team up with others in this class or any of my other filmmaking classes. Um, no more than six students per uh, group. Um, and if you do team up with someone outside of this class, you need to make sure that I know, you know who and what classes, et cetera. So um, anyways, that's a big uh, part of the, the class. Um, 
uh, as far as grade goes. Um, this semester, Humanities 10, which is uh, contemporary cinema, the definition of um, contemporary cinema, and that's so that your class is transferable, um, is 1960 to the present. So next week, we're watching a film from 1960. We're watching Psycho, um, made by uh, Alfred Hitchcock. And then I'll go through the list of films. We're going to watch The Graduate, 1967. We're going to watch Jaws, 1975. We're watching, going to watch Jaws because it's the very first blockbuster, first film to gross $100 million or more. It really changed the industry, um, when, how movies were marketed and when they uh, played, et cetera. Uh, then we're going to watch um, Back to the Future, 1985. We're going to watch uh, Good Will Hunt, uh, Hunter, uh, Goodwill Hunting, sorry, 1977. Um, then we're, we're going to watch Crash, 2004, Arrival, uh, 2016, uh, A Quiet Place, 2018, Parasite, 2019, the, the film, 1917, uh, which was made in 2019, uh, Promising Young, A Promising Young Woman, 2020, Coda, um, 2021, Everything Everywhere All at Once. 2022 and uh, past lives and it's going to be nominated for some academy awards so 2023 um kind of a variety of films from different places um in the world but a, a variety of genres and um, styles of films and um i hope uh, you'll like at least some of them i'm i'm not sure everyone will like all of them but um, I hope you like some of them. I've chosen for a reason and, and um, in the class discussions, either in person, we can talk about why the film is considered to be as good as it is and why I chose it. Um, or online in the discussions, you can tell me what you think of my choices um, uh, about the film. So anyways, um, this semester, a lot of what we'll be doing is watching movies and then talking about them. Um, yeah, you should be paying attention to the filmmaking terms. It's under week one, not only because the, the terms, um, will be on the final exam, but also because when we talk about the movies, I would like to use the jargon for our industry. So, um, you can talk about an establishing shot or cross cutting or things like that. And we'll all know what we're talking about because, they're the terms that we should all know. So um, uh, let me see. I am in my office now. It's Humanities 109. Um, I'm here from 10 to 11, uh, Monday through Thursday. I'm here a lot more than that, but I will always be here then. So feel free to, feel free to drop by or you can call me. Um, or if, for those of you who are online, if this is not a good time or um, we can, I can Zoom and not only during that 10 to 11 um, time slot, but also if you send me an email and that doesn't work for you, um, I can schedule something else another time. So I'm happy to meet with you on Zoom if you have any questions about the film project or um, anything else. So um, I think those are the things I wanted to say. Um, please reach out to me if you have questions about the class or about um, any assignments or the movies. Um, I love to talk about movies. So um, even if you just want to talk about some movies beyond the things that you write in the discussion board or in class, the things that you say in class, um, come see me, come reach out to me, and um, I'm always happy to talk. So uh, I this week, um, those people who were in class don't need to do that. But if you are in the online class, um, make sure you post your picture and bio on Canvas. It's not the class, it's Canvas. Um, and that way we can, um, I can get to know who, um, who you are, you know, what, what, you know, I get a image of your face and also something like your major or um, hobbies or interests, your, maybe your favorite movie, something like that. So I get to know you. I have over 2,000 students this semester, and, and those pictures and bios help me um, know who you are. So uh, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. Uh, nice to get to know you. Please reach out to me if you have any questions, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon.